Hi everyone, Megan here from Beguiled by Books. And today I'm going to share with you my thoughts on how social media has influenced reading and the book community. Let's get into it. There can be no denying that BookTube, BookTok, Bookstagram can all be attributed to influencing what we read and the hype that a lot of books receive. In the last several months to a year, there has been a growing discussion in the book community about the influence of people just like me on YouTube and on social media who are influencing the popularity of those books and whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing. Gone are the days of gatekeeping in book reviewing where certain publications have dedicated book reviewers and bestsellers become popular because of those types of publications and those types of reviewers. What has this really meant for the industry? I, first of all, am not an expert. These are just my opinions. But one thing that I think has been a real benefit to the social media community talking about books that they love is it opens up all different types of niches for folks to explore. And that's a really wonderful thing. So many former books that have been bestsellers or have won awards and that are really um, popular in the sense that they are purchased a lot often are thought to be kind of pretentious and inaccessible to a lot of people. And now with the advent of social media, it's been a great way for people to connect and bond over books they love, especially in the fantasy community. How many folks are willing to share their recommended reads and talk about the things that they love? Those books go on to become bestsellers and to get adaptations to screen and really show how great that they are when they would probably be passed over um, because they're thought of more of entertainment value rather than, um, you know, actual literary work. And I think that's a really interesting dynamic that's changed for the better. Now, what I do think is maybe a little less beneficial with the advent of social media is some really great books because they don't, uh, reach the masses, they are so undervalued and they often get missed. And sometimes those publications that have, you know, reviewers on staff whose whole job it is to find those really great books, because that has maybe fallen out of favor, we're missing some really amazing work out there that has not reached bestseller status, does not have that cult-like following. Um, like a lot of books do and a lot of series. So it's it's definitely a double-edged sword in media. But the best thing that I can personally leave you with, if you have questions about whether or not social media is a good influence on the reading community or a negative influence on the reading community, is to find books that you love and then find reviewers and social media channels that promote those types of books so that you can find more of the things that you love. And if you want to branch out and try something new, try searching for those other topics and find reviewers who you connect with and then maybe try reading a book that they've read. So social media can be used as a tool for good or evil, just like any tool. And it's up to us to make sure that we are doing what is best for each individual reader to make sure we're finding books that we love. I hope this is helpful. I hope this gives you some good things to think about as you're looking for new folks to connect with and to bond with and to find material and hope you can find a book community that suits you best. And I hope it's here at Beguiled by Books. So if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And drop a comment below and let me know what you think about social media's influence on the book community. I'd love to hear it. Have a great day.